This video is brought to you by our amazing supporters over at Patreon. Hey everyone, it's Ben from Board to Bits, and we're about to start getting into this idea of being able to select levels and kind of sort through like what levels you have access to and being able to start the game from a level that you choose. But in order to do that, one thing that's going to be helpful, I think, is to be able to be able to quit out of the level when you're in the middle of it. So, you know, we can you know get through a few levels of our game and then jump out and see where we are. And so um, what I want to do here is just create a quick escape function so that we can say when we're in a level, hit a button and jump back to the main menu. It's not something we have in place yet, um, but it's pretty easy to implement. So we're going to do this inside of our level manager script because that is one that we know will exist when we're actually in our game space. So I'm going to open that up here in Mono Develop, and when we're dealing with inputs, we the best place to do that is the update function. So we're going to have to add an update uh, method here to our script. So we're going to under our awake method here, I'm going to put in I'm going to say void update. And then we're going to quickly check and see if a key has been pressed down. I think the escape key makes the most sense in my opinion. So I'm going to say if input dot get key down key code no oh, key code dot escape uh, no escape there we go. So if the escape key gets pressed down on this frame, then what we're going to do is we're going to call our scene loader which is our handy static class that we created for doing all things scene related. We're going to load scene. We're going to say scene name dot main menu. So we'll just jump back there immediately. And so at any point in our game, we can hit escape and jump back there. This is like this is likewise how you would create something like a pause menu where you would be able to say, you know, if whatever your pause button gets pressed, kind of hold everything and then the code in here would say to load up whatever pause screen you have. Um, and do things like that. So the other thing we have to be careful of though is that now what we're doing is we're exiting this scene and you may recall that down in our end level script this was how we were ending the level before and we were doing so with this um, on level end method we were do calling an event here and um, but we, what the important thing we did was we actually unsubscribed from a couple of events that this particular method had subscribed to. And so we want to make sure we're doing that again. Otherwise, what will happen is the next time we load this scene, it may try to set up some stuff that isn't actually, it no longer exists, and it's going to throw an error for our game. So I'm just going to, for now, I'm just going to copy and paste that up here. And I'm going to say, before we load that scene, we're going to unsubscribe from those two things. And we may eventually create, you know, kind of a special method for that stuff. And there may be other things that we add in there. But for right now, I'm just going to copy and paste it. We've got that twice in there. I may even throw in here a to do, to do um, special unsubscribe method. And that's something that we can look at doing. So with that in place, this is actually, like I say, pretty quick. But, uh, four lines of real code here. Now what we can do is we go back to our game. If I hit play, start up our level, I can move around the level as normal, but then if I hit escape, we just jump back to our simple game here. I start up again, I'm back at the level. I can move on to the next level, and once again I can hit escape, jump right back, start up. Now I'm still at this level because we are tracking our progress, but I'm able, like I say, to jump back to our main menu where now we can, you know, now that I've moved a couple levels ahead, I could look and see, you know, what my level select screen looks like, see what my options are, things like that. So that's all for this particular video, a pretty quick one, but um, like I say, it's going to be a handy tool for us in future videos. Until then, I'll see you next time, and thanks for watching.